5 Unique Facts About Swamp Crocodiles, Considered Holy and Sacred in Some Areas The largest reptile on Earth, crocodiles frighten a lot of people because of their size. When people hear the word, crocodile, they immediately think of a big, vicious reptile that can murder humans. This is not surprising considering how often crocodiles attack and kill humans. One crocodile that regularly does this is the swamp crocodile, Crocodilus palustris. As its name suggests, this crocodile is commonly seen in swampy areas where it can sunbathe, hunt, feed, or lay eggs. The swamp crocodile has numerous unique characteristics, despite the fact that many people fear and admire him. They are all quite diverse and fascinating to discuss, whether it is intelligence, distribution, relevance to human life, size, or even physical traits. 1. The first thing that is done is to use a perburuan tool. The swamp crocodile has the highest level of intelligence among reptiles. It was actually the first reptile to hunt using tools, such as plant twigs or wooden sticks. These crocodiles usually search for twigs or wood and place them in their mouths. Birds that wish to construct nests will seek out wood and twigs, thus if they attempt to remove them from a crocodile's mouth, they will be swiftly pounced upon and devoured. Because it focuses on birds that wish to construct nests, this tactic works particularly well during the mating season. But there's a chance that this tactic could be used to fool and capture animals other than birds. 2. It is a fierce predator that can eat fish and people. Aggressive predators, swamp crocodiles consume anything. Fish, frogs, crabs, insects, mammals, and birds, animals that are prevalent in humid environments, are their primary source of food. However, there have been reports of this crocodile feeding on larger creatures, such as monkeys. Additionally, they hunt and readily consume animal carcasses. Although the swamp crocodile is smaller than the larger and more widespread Nile and saltwater crocodiles, it is not the only crocodile species that attacks people. More than 50 people have been killed by these animals' attacks in India in recent years. 3. Consequently, it is regarded as a holy and sacred animal and a sign of corruption. Another well-known crocodile species, particularly in its native environment, is the swamp crocodile. It is the source of makara, which stands for the ability of rivers to both create and destroy. In many regions, the swamp crocodile is considered a sacred animal in addition to being a symbol. In Bangladesh, for instance, a husband and wife raised swamp crocodiles in the hopes that the animals would bless them and produce children. Because they were considered holy and sacred, swamp crocodiles were likewise cared for and safeguarded at the Magar Talao Dam in the 1870s. The crocodiles there are also frequently fed by the local Muslims and Hindus. In Gujarat, India, some sukus, such as Vasava, Gamut, and Chaudhry, revere swamp crocodiles as gods. 4. Among all crocodile species, its snout is the widest. The muscular physique, broad snouts, and short heads of swamp crocodiles make them easy to identify. Out of all the crocodiles that are still alive, this one actually has the widest snout. Because of its short and wide snout, this crocodile is frequently compared to the American alligator, or alligator mississippiensis. Given that this species can only reach a maximum length of 5 meters and a maximum weight of 700 kilograms, its size is likewise not excessively large. The colors are also rather varied, in addition to the typical hues like gray and brown, there are occasionally people with vivid hues like orange or reddish. 5. The South Asian region is included in its dispersion. South Asian countries like India and Sri Lanka are home to swamp crocodiles. It has also been documented to live in various places, including Iran and even Myanmar. They are not as widely distributed as the more well-known saltwater crocodiles. 
Swamp crocodiles actually have a tendency to be isolated in one location and do not disperse to other areas. The incapacity of swamp crocodiles to traverse the ocean is probably the reason of this. Swamps, rivers, lakes, and puddles in rural locations are examples of freshwater habitat. It can also occasionally be found in artificial reservoirs, which is concerning. Swamp crocodiles typically live in freshwater environments, however they can occasionally be found on beaches and in mangrove habitats, which are also home to larger saltwater crocodiles. The two species eventually learned to coexist since their habitats collided. Compared to saltwater crocodiles, swamp crocodiles are smaller and have a smaller range of distribution. Nevertheless, this crocodile has several distinctive features that make it equally fascinating. First of all, it frequently assaults people and is extremely nasty. Second, he was frequently revered and turned into a symbol of depravity. Third, the crocodile with the widest snout is the swamp crocodile. Lastly, the first reptile known to use tools for hunting is the swamp crocodile.